theory of demand we have done full demand concept now we'll switch to theory of supply in demand four steps we have done exactly the written i believe we have written that way topic 2 heading theory of supply same way synopsis format notes study material question mark step 1 listen first demand what you have done desire of consumer to consume right and over there it was consumer over here it was supplier of producer how to change this definition that was demand of desire of consumer now it is desire of producer or supplier that was to consume, to produce or to sell, backed by purchasing power, backed by producing or selling capacity. Simple way, in short, synopsis format, what should I write? Back by producing or selling capacity. Same thing, only direction is different, point of view is different. Demand function was what? Q dx, don't write. It's function of px, right? The supply function should be what? Only instead of D, Q S. So to write the supply function nothing but Q S X is a function of P X. So Q S X means what is supply? P X means price. Now rough. One simple thing I have to tell you. Suppose you are producing any commodity X. For one unit, you are spending money, say 4 rupees. 5 units you have already produced. Take. When you sell in the market, should I sell in 4 rupees or more than 4 rupees? Of course, more than 4 rupees, say 8 rupees. There is a quantity. So, what does it imply? 40 minus 20, profit is how much? 20. Right now. Now, in simple economic term, may I write? Profit is equal to rise into quantity minus average cost into quantity. What does it mean? And you are a rational producer. Your intention is to increase the gap. So how do you increase the gap? Either by increasing price or by decreasing cost. <coughs> now if price of the commodity increases, you got the opportunity to earn more money. What to do? To produce and supply more? Why I said this? So that you can understand. Supply point of view, price and quantity supply are directly related. It is nothing but law of supply. So, how do you show? 
one simple diagram ex what is the blah of x what is the shape upper slope initial if it is price increases quantity increases so law of supply exhibits what shows what price increases or supply increases price decreases or supply decreases <coughs> correct or not unlike demand opposite relationship step 2 let me write then i'll show you study material what we have done give star this also approach change in quantity supplied and change in supply exactly same concept point of view is different on demand what we have done expansion and contraction here supply same thing will do how change in quantity supplied exhibits changes along the same supply curve is mosul factor price yes or no so what would be the diagram this is price of x this is quantity supply of x initial supply curve say this price say this p1 q1 a as price increases Money supply will increase. This movement, same way as price decreases, money supply will decrease. Same way. What are the nomenclature? Exactly same thing. A to B. What should I write? expansion of supply increasing quantity supply a to c contraction of supply decreasing quantity supply same thing they are demand point of view your supply point of view they are change in demand what we have done factors other than price income taste and preference all things we are not talking about supplier will it be income taste and preference or nothing but technology cost of production <coughs> availability of sub availability of inputs all these things should come correct or not simple example i'm telling you so that it will be helpful for you say initial price is this quantity is this correct this is a supply curve okay 
in your company you are com producing this amount of supply with this amount of price correct beta now all on a sudden in your company you would see you observe that cost of production decreases so wage it is decreasing what we have to do he got the opportunity to increase this quantity supply supply so what does it mean supply curve shifts towards the right it is called lower supply curve maybe wage rate is decreasing maybe supplies of inputs are more all this stuff should come oppositely the wage rate is increasing to be forced to supply less so there it was called change in demand my dear it is it should be called change in supply so next heading diagram should be monitors look at the way i'm making diagram with different colors so that it will be helpful for you to understand Q1, Q2, Q3. It is increase, it is decrease. Plus A, B, C. Throw to the right. First point is called shift in supply. Second point factors are. Other than price, what different supplies of input are cost of production technology government policy anything you can say. Eight, uh, sorry, S one to S two. So for my future reference, I should write S one to S two. Mane number one increase in supply. Number two shift towards horizontal axis. Number three, lower supply curve. So S one to S three, same way. Decrease in supply, shift towards. Vertical axis, upper supply curve. Same concept, only different points of view. There was consumer, there is supplier. This is synopsis format of notes. After that, we we'll go to our study material. This is theory of supply. Correct. I want to show you one thing in. In our first page, we are given syllabus over there, exactly as per C institution material. Correct. As per C institution material, money. I'll just show you. 
in first stage to comply C institution. They have not changed this chronological way they have given. Look at the first page, it is there. Nature and scope, theory of consumer, theory of demand, all this stuff is there, right? Now, for your reference, the C institution have given that, and accordingly complied in our study method. But those who are attending my live class or recording class, it is one good advantage for them. We are making one method so that one raw brain can accept this. After, after you get this method, how to take care economics, you made one chronological form. Demand, supply, equilibrium. But our intention is so at the end of the day, we'll complete that. Correct? That is why you may have faced this. I said you earlier. So first I have given theory of demand, then theory of supply. But in C institution, we have given this is the way. We require to let students understand in perfect way. There is some process. We made that process. And everyone all over India, they are helpful on that. This we are going to make this. Demand, supply, equilibrium like this. So, here it is. This is our chapter 6. Here it is. As per system material. What is supply you have given? Factors I will come. This is law of supply. This is one table we have made for the ready reference. This is individual supply curve, right? After that we have given expansion. Look at that, expansion, contraction. This is expansion, this is contraction. I showed you here. This is increase, this is decrease. Same thing. Correct? So in supply, may I conclude that my students are able to answer question on two steps, that is step one, law of supply, meaning of supply, and step two, in step two, change in quantity supply and change in supply, I believe it is clear to you, I believe. Correct? In supply, step 1 and step 2, we have done law of supply, <coughs> sorry, followed by change in quantity supply and change in supply. Correct? Now, we will move to step 3, factors affecting supply.